What is up guys, my name is Jackal and I'm having some extra moments to game which means side piece time. We're back for Blaster Master. We got some retro gold, some retro gems up on the docket today so make sure if you guys want to be watching the good stuff, playing the good games, make sure you guys subscribe. Comment especially. Commenting is most important. Oh! I got hit there, but that was actually some, like... That was some Ultra Instinct stuff there for a second. Only for a second, though, clearly. Because then I proceed to get hit by, like, everything. Fine, fuck you. And, uh, yeah, on, on this playthrough, I'm actually trying to explore the actual world. Because I think in, like, these first worlds, I kind of... Fuck, I want to go that way. Because I think this is where the boss is. But I wanted to land on, I want to land on that platform. I want to see what's over there. Especially this first world. Like, I watched my parents play this game a lot growing up. So I always got to see this area getting beat. There is a um, glitch in this game known as the pause glitch that uh, basically can, at very least, I think more than half the bosses can be killed very easily with this uh, trick where basically you use a grenade and as it damages them in a boss battle you push pause and since the image of the boss stays on screen there, it ends up doing a shitload of damage to the boss until you unpause it. Which also means that if you don't unpause it, the boss will just die. We will not be using this glitch, because that glitch is lame. And we do not want it. Alright, well, I think we explored everywhere we uh, reasonably can in here. At least for now. I don't actually know. I don't think there is anywhere else. There's, a bun there's always a bunch of extra uh, buildings, top-down areas that you can go in. Now, if I... Later on, what I'm going to do is when I get, like... I, I, I don't know. I actually don't know how I'm going to handle the future of this. Oh, could you, yeah, there we go. That's actually kind of cool. That's actually kind of cool. You know what? I can actually see why that has its uses. I could have sworn there was a gun piece that went in there. Arcing bullets are kind of cool. I guess when you do have a, a priority in the game to not get hit by enemies, because every hit you lose your gun's ability. Why is he taking so much damage? That was really weird. But I guess when the priority of the game is not taking damage, you lose gun power. It makes sense that I can have, like, bullets that can arc around corners. I can... I actually... Or the do shit like that where they loop around. I remember that guy. And I remember these guys. Actually, no, I fought these guys. Last video. I remember this room for sure. All right, come back here. Grenade this motherfucker. All right. Steady feet. Steady feet. 
Steady feet. Steady feet. All right, we're good. All right, cool. When you see this, you know it's boss time, baby. Now, luckily, this guy, I can just throw shit loads of grenades at him. And then he's down just like, hey, 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 hey. I don't know if those things can hurt you while they're spinning, but I'd rather not find out. All right. I did lose one spot of gunpower. I should have literally thrown one less grenade. All right. And now, the thing we got, I don't know if you remember from when we looked in the booklet, but we got the Hyper, which means our cannon is, I don't know if it's actually stronger. Like it actually does less or more damage to enemies. But I do know that I can get rid of that one green guy. Aw. Oh. I missed the B button. There we go. I would like overtime to actually beat this game. But because you're only given a certain amount of game overs and then you have to, you know, start back at the beginning. Okay, bro. Okay, okay. And I'm messing up royally. I don't know why I'm messing up. I've, I haven't moved my controls. And they're in the same place as they were when I was playing Mega Man. I should not be having this difficult of a time with inputs. Oh! I almost Ultra Instinct my way around the whole thing. Alright. Ouch. Nope, nope, nope. Ooh! All right. Hold on. Before we do this. Seven minutes? All right, cool. So I got to finish this up. Go to the store. Go get me some drinks for the morning. Get my Gatorade and stuff. Go get the... Oh, no. Lady has herself a, a Gatorade. Mama's got a, our, her... Whatever she does. Okay, 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 okay. All right. All right. I get it. I get it. I get it. Beep, beep, beep. God damn. But she didn't bring her caffeine drink this morning, so she's already got one. Other girlfriend asked me for a bottle of Diet Coke. So I got to go get that. Yeah, it's funny. My, uh, my, um, because, you know, my... The mother of my kids is eight years older than me. She has um, a son who is a month older than my youngest sibling, my brother, who is, you know, they're both, what are they both? 15? Yeah, they're 15. And my brother's in there um, playing fucking South Park, the fractured butthole. So well, that looks really fucking funny. I would like to play those games at some point. <coughs> <coughs> I could have sworn the um, the first one was um, more of a traditional RPG game as far as like the turn base, like the system. But the second one looks more like um, almost like an RPG and um, real time strategy game. Kind of like Quest 64 was, but, you know, not mid. Because Quest 64 was like, meh. Alright, now this part, we got some bumping music about to happen here. Let's go. Area 2. Alright, these worms are cunts. Alright. God damn it. All right, I guess this is fine. You can hit him with your human character. 
But if not, you gotta really just, like, time them to hit them while they're fucking falling down. And I'm dead. There was my first life lost. That's nice. God damn it, dude. All right. Let's not just fall right into the fucking trap and die. Huh? Dick. I don't even know how you did that. They usually go off the surfaces and then go straight across. All right, bye, 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 bye. No, the worms really are like the worst fucking enemy. Easily the most trash. Oh yeah, I think that's where I come out when I finish the boss. Yeah, the next one will be a, uh, if you remember from the booklet, um, it's going to be a gun that I can use to break past those barriers right there. Right now I cannot. All right. Got him. See, like, as you can tell, like, this probably isn't the way that I need to be going because it's, like, veering off to the side here. It's not, like, the main path. And the main path looks like it continues onwards. And that's how you can usually tell that... Nope, I guess this is not the way I go when I come out. Or maybe it is. Oh yeah, I'll come out over here. Okay, okay. Bro, this song is fucking amazing. This was a song that when I was like in elementary school, you know, granted, this is like, even then, like when I think about it, I'm a kid in like 1998, 1999, in like third grade and shit doing homework. And like, I'm putting on a game from 1988 so I can bump it to fucking do my homework too. I didn't think it was going to be right there, but good thing we had our cannonading upwards. Can I not get that? Fuck you. Woo. Ooh, I, there's worms here, aren't there? I remember this. I remember this spot. I don't like being that close to the edge. There was no reason for me to do it. Fuck you. No reason for him to be doing that either. Alright. What up, doe? What up, doe? Look at his little strut. Look at that strutting. One strutting man. It's just funny that, like, even when I was a kid, I was still playing games that were, like, old as shit. That motherfucker will almost always hit you. The other guys, maybe not. If you're not bad like me, they might not. But I suck, so they do. And those bombs do like two things of damage each. Alright. Yeah, come down here. Get fucked. Oh, that's not what I wanted to happen. You know, I could be using my specials a little bit more. But they wouldn't be the most useful things here. Be a little useful. Alright, we got our first... Our first top-down area. Alright, well, I already lost my gun. That's nice.
All right. I don't know why that first one was so hard for me to kill. So my neighbors just came home, and the way they keep like stand, like moving in the shadows, keeps like tweaking me out, just because it's like out of the corner of my eye. So I'm just picking up on the motion. All right. Did I come in here for nothing? Literally no things. Wow. Not a fucking... Bro, I suck. So bad. Get out of this area. Alright, back in my fucking tank. Yeah, if I could fight the bosses in this thing, they'd be fucked. Ooh! That was the jump, baby. Come on. Come on. Fall down the fucking thing. Oh, 99, you say? Alright, cool. Got almost full health in the tank. Alright, pick away, asshole. Dick, I hate all of you. Yeah, you go down there. Come on. Hey, watch this. Alright. Took way more than I was hoping it would, but... Oh. You're glitched out, aren't you? Look at you there. You're both on top of each other, too. Ha ha. Stuck there like a fucking peasant. Alright. I don't think there was any more areas to explore there. I feel like I did pretty good. It's kind of nice because this is a, a, a Metroidvania. Kind of game. down feels like where I'm kind of supposed to go. What does up feel like where I'm supposed to go? I don't even know. I don't even know, bro. Ooh. How about the tank? God damn it. Alright, you know what? I feel like I want to explore down now. There we go, alright. Gotta hit it on the descend. It's a little hard to time, but I'll get it. Eventually. Alright. I definitely know this is not the way to the boss. Alright. 
Okay. Can you give me something good around here? Really? Nothing. Not a gun power up. Not a nothing. Not a nothing. Well, I guess if I find those after I get my second gun, I guess uh, I'll be able to fully tell whether or not uh, it's more powerful, because I'll at least know for sure those guys take two. if it's up or down I'm supposed to go. Nice. Not what I wanted to do, but nice nonetheless. Nope. Can't do that. Hi, bitch. I did that on purpose. Or on accident. Oh, no. At least they don't do a lot of damage. They're just fucking annoying! Turn around. Snipe up. Pew, pew! Oh, nilly. Full health on the tanke. Full bars on the tanke. Got him. Got it. Ooh. This is some later shit. I believe this is the way to level seven. Because I believe I gotta um, scale the wall. Okay, so this is the way here. And we looked at the map, so we looked at the map in the booklet last time, so. Dick face. Dick. Fine, whatever. Alright, let's get rid of these wormy fucks. No? <laughs> okay. Those worms still exist, though. I feel like, and I think if I look it up, that's true. Um, in this game, enemies that you kill stay dead until you go into, like, a top-down area. So in a top-down area, you know, enemies don't respawn when you go off-screen. You know, they come back as soon as... Fuck you. They don't come back when if you move around. 
so you don't have to worry about enemies coming back. But... Oh yeah. All right, see that feels where we like where we should be going. But there's also the side area over here that we could go in for no reason at all. Alright, there was no reason for me to get hit by that second one. Alright, cool. All that for nothing. And yes, this fall damage does happen. That, uh... That fall would most assuredly kill you. But yeah, now that we've gone in an overhead and area and come back, now all these guys are back. Blah, blah, blah. Ooh, I definitely know this is, this is most assuredly the way. Alright, well, we're just going to kill these guys, and then that's actually going to be it. I'm going to be done for the day. We've done a good amount of exploring. I've still only died once. Other reason, other lessons in um, how and when to just shut the fuck up. Because this game just tried to show me, oh, only one death, you say? All right. Cool. Well, next time, um, I believe this is definitely the way to go. Yeah, like, it was kind of hard to tell in that first area because that first area is a little more open. Like, it's like one big empty space, mostly, kind of-ish. But the rest of these levels, basically, if there's further you can go, go that way until you can't go no more. And that's generally where the boss is going to be. Um, I believe in the Game Boy game, you actually needed to find, like, a key before going to the boss. So, me doing this is probably good practice, because I want to play that game, too. Uh, because, you know, like I said, it's a remake, but not a remake, but a remake, but not a remake. Um, but yeah, um, it's good practice, because I'll need to scour him to find a key in the second game, in this one. You know, really, you could just go as far as you can. You know, until you can't go anymore, that's usually where the boss is going to be. In the furthest reaches of that area is ish how it's going to usually work out. But um, till next time, y'all. Tomorrow, actually. It's always tomorrow. Peace.